Hey there, YouTube. Uh, this is part two. Uh, this is the second video on uh, on the uh, AKA I uh, Professional MPD 18 drum machine uh, pad. Um, what I'm going to do basically in this video is I'm going to focus on um, hooking this up to the computer and getting it to work for Fruity Loops. A lot of questions for this product. A lot of people are having a hard time hooking it up. And uh, I'm going to try and help you out to the next extreme level. Uh, bear with me. I'm using this little mini um, web old webcam. Um, so uh, bear with me with this. Uh, it's going to look like crap, but I'm going to do it step by step with uh, telling you where you have to go. But this is just so you can get an image of wh wh what you have to do. Okay, so here we go. All right, YouTube. Okay, so this is what you want to do. Uh, I'm just going to close this off here. Uh, okay, so this is what you want to do. You want to go up to Fruity Loops. You want to open up Fruity Loops just like so. Double click on it like you were going to open it up normally. Up here in the top corner of Fruity Loops, it says File, Edit Channels, View, Options, Tools, and Help. Okay, what you want is Channels. Click on Channels. Go Add One. Then you're going to go down FPC. Okay. Before I opened up Fruity Loops, I plugged in the uh, MPD pad. So the MPD pad is plugged in and it's ready to go now you get this little thing that comes up and it's got these four pads on here or, well not four it's got these 16 pads right here okay this is your drum machine uh, you can play them from here or you can play them from your pad machine just like this okay so that's your drum machine there. A lot of people are having problems with this. They can't understand why it's not working. Now, when I had this hooked up the first time, I had some problems too, and uh, yes, with trial and error, I figured it out. Um, what you want to do is on your MPD pad, um, you want to hold down presets, hold it down, and press pad 2 while you're holding down presets, okay? Uh, this is going to basically set it so that when you hit pad 1, pad 1 is going to play properly, okay? And you're only going to have to do this once because I haven't I haven't had to do it yet again, so uh, so yeah, so just like that, okay? So now every pad should work. Just like that, okay? So that's that problem. Um, now here's the other thing that I want to show you guys to make sure that you uh, you know where you're going. Uh, beside this, if you want to close this window off, beside it there's two triangles. <clears throat> the first triangle beside the X is the one that you want if you want to change these uh, loops out of here. Hit empty. Now your pad is completely empty. Now if you want to um, in your presets on Fruity Loops where all your drum loops are, just click and drag them over to any pad you want. I'm just going to place them anywhere. Just put a hat in there somewhere. So basically I just did the first three upwards. Okay, so th that's just basically simple, straightforward. Um, so there's that. There's that real quick. Okay. Um, now, if you want to record this into as uh, one of these pattern things up here, so that you can use it up here and you're making your tunes, um, hit the record button like that. Make sure it's lit up. I don't know if you guys can see this. I'm really sorry. Make sure it's lit up. Then you want to um, hit the play button, and it's going to go. It's going to count down, and then you start recording. So watch. stop recording hit the play button again and there it's recorded so if I unclick this and push play there you go see it recorded it that's how you make a pattern real quick real simple real straightforward um, so so yeah so there's that that's straightforward and yeah I'm really sorry about the camera guys really sorry really sorry. okay guys I hope I helped you out uh, so this is we're gonna run it down real quick uh, again. So what you do is you plug your uh, your uh, MPD 18 into the computer before you open up you are uh, before you open up Fruity Loops. Okay, so you get that all plugged in, you're good to go. 
You don't have to install anything to Fruity Loops or anything. You just plug it in, okay? Then when Fruity Loops opens, there'll be a, a section that says File, Edit, Channels, uh, so forth and so forth. I can't see it right now. A File, Edit, Channels, View, Options, Tools, and Help. In that toolbar there, uh, you want Channels. When that opens, it's going to be a little window. And then it's going to say at the top of that window, it says Add One click on the add one and there's going to be another window that opens up and then you want FPC that's going to open up your drum machine that is engaging your drum machine so that you can use it uh, once that's done you have all your drum loops are already preset to it just like that okay and then once you get the drum patterns that you want to use set into your drum machine or you can use the default ones that's cool uh, up at the top, there's play, stop, record button. You want to hit the record button first, then you want to hit play, and then let it count down. I think it's three or four times. It'll count down. It'll, and then you start recording, and that, and then basically after that, you'll you'll go, just like that, just to record it, and then to stop recording it, hit the play button again. It'll look like a pause button when you engage the play button. So it'll look like a pause button. So once that happens, uh, you hit the pause button and it's recorded the pattern. So now that you can use that in your pattern box to make all your tunes, if you understand what I'm talking about. Um, so yeah, so hopefully this has helped you out. Um, I don't know what else more to say to you guys. Uh, it's pretty straightforward. It is hard, but it is straightforward though. Once you get it, you're going to be like, why the hell didn't I think of that? But uh, but yeah, it's it's... It was really hard, and I feel your pain. It's very frustrating when you get something brand new and you can't use it. I totally get that. I totally get that. So I hope I answered all your questions. Remember, if the machine is playing, if you hit the drum pad, if you hit pad one, and it's playing like like two, like, like that, like at once, then what you want to do is you want to hit preset, hold preset down, and then hit pad two. And... While you're holding down preset, hit pad 2, and then everything should reset itself so that you do not get that. If you're still having problems with that, then shut Fruity Loops down, unplug your MPD pad, and try it all over again. It it will eventually configure itself. It, it will. Honestly, it will. So, I hope I helped you out. Keep watching the Doctor YouTube videos. We got lots to come your way, so... I hope I helped you guys out a lot. I really do. Thanks for watching.